In this video we will see eViews 12 and we will try to apply some hacks to save our time because we as social scientists or economists use eViews frequently. So a few tools or techniques that can save us from the excessive usage of time are described here. As I mentioned this is eViews uh, 12. I am going to uh, show you the uh, page on which uh, eViews 12 is written and it is registered to me as you can see it is registered and I can use it without restrictions so let's choose a data set that I have been using out of one of my works I'm borrowing this uh, eViews work file and I have a few variables in it and some estimates as well this is actually a uh, pool data and now I'm going to estimate an equation and for that usually we go into the menu that is quick and then we go in estimate equation and uh, we click it then we see this dialog box and then we start uh, choosing those variables for example in this case uh, if I choose ITA as the independent variable then write C as the constant or intercept then I'll write the other um, variable that is ICT which is the independent variable and then I uh, and I C and then REX and then TRD so after doing this I will choose at least squares here just for the sake of ease and then I will click OK so I will get these results but there is another way which can enable us to uh, do this thing and it can save us from extra uh, menus and here if I want to save this equation I have to do another step and that is to go in view or uh, primarily freeze it and then um, give it a certain name for example uh, DBM for example so then I'll be able to save it so you see a number of steps have been done in order to avoid all these steps I can j write just one command and I can get um, the results of it so let's write that e demand uh, equation um, it, it's basically an equation so this is the keyword I just have to type equation and then I can give it the name that I want it to have uh, this is dbm1 because dbm is already saved so I have to give it a, a different name ls I will type in order to make it least square and then I can simply type all those uh, variables that are there in our analysis and that will be it I just need to press enter to get the result and you see straight away I had an equation dbm1 I can click it or can I open it as well and can see the results are there so it is very quick you see that all those steps have been jumped over and simply by writing this command one can straight away come to uh, an equation which is saved and we can further work on that so you see this is what we have done we have estimated an equation we have saved it as well we have given it a name as well and this uh, simple command has enabled us to do it now there is another thing we excessive uh, repeatedly do in uh, eviews and that is to find out the presence of multicollinearity for which we estimate this test which is known as the variance inflation factor the acronym would be VIF so uh, in order to calculate it using the menus I can use the same command and I just have to edit one thing I just need to delete equation from it and I have to delete the least square and the list of variables and instead I will write var inf which stands for variance inflation factor so if I simply type this and if I click enter I will get the results of variance inflation factor in a blink of an eye and you can see that the results are there uh, which can be interpreted which is beyond the scope of this video and this is how we can again save quite a bit of time and we can get the results of presence of multicollinearity using this simple command 
which is this command that we just used instead it was dbm1 because we had already saved one equation so we differentiated by using a di slightly different name and this is what we did simply by using one command we calculated variance inflation factor now using the same uh, equation command i can estimate ardl effortlessly just like we calculated a least square estimate uh, in this panel data we can now estimate ARDL simply by replacing LS with ARDL which stands for autoregressive distributed lag model and we don't have to go into the menu simply I will replace uh, LS uh, with ARDL and once I do this I click enter and there is a small error message because I already have DBM as one of the results so I can name it slightly different for example DBM2 and I will get the results here we are DBM2 they are saved the equation which is showing the results of ARDL method these are the results long run and short run estimates and finally we have found the ARDL as well simply with one enter and writing one command so using one command again we were able to calculate or estimate ARDL this was the command finally we have uh, the repeatedly estimated um, statistic of uh, unit root and for that again we can easily calculate using one command uh, just to remind you it is panel data so it will be panel unit root for that simple command is to be used so the command is to be typed in the command panel ADF is the command which stands for augmented Dickey Fuller test it could be UR for unit root because ADF is one of the ways of calculating or estimating the unit root but it is the choice of the makers of eViews so they chose ADF as the command for unit roots ADF is something that you will type and then you will type the variable for which you are estimating the unit root test and this is it you simply need to click enter one more time and you will get the panel unit root uh, test in this case because now we are talking about panel data you know about this dialog box uh, summary will give you all these values whereas if you want to go for one of them you can choose um, either of them and it's upon you if you want to calculate it on level or first difference second difference or you want to go for uh, without trend or with trend estimate of it and definitely the spectral estimation can also be changed as per your needs and bandwidth selection can also be changed the lag length criterion is also something that you can choose and uh, if you want to keep it user specified you can so I'm just going to click OK right now and you see that uh, readily we got the results and these were the results at level I can uh, do this again again I'll just simply enter and if I want to go for first difference I will get this if I want to do it for other variables again it is very easy instead of ITA I have chosen ICT and I got the results for it and then I can do it for uh, level as well so you see that how uh, easily or effortlessly we are able to estimate the unit root tests and you know all these values are there we can copy paste them for the sake of reference for our research work so again a very simple tool has been used that is the command of uh, unit root to get the results effortlessly so this is the summary of all the commands that we used and using simple one command we were able to avoid many menus and uh, hopefully we have saved our precious time as well in our upcoming videos we will have some hacks for stata as well that will allow us to save time and few estimation techniques that will also help us in our research work in economics and social sciences thank you